again. Down here on my own today. Much nicer to work in. The job I've got to do today is clear the shed. Um, I'm wanting to move everything down to the shed on plot one. Get it in some sort of order. And then I can bring all my potting stuff out of the greenhouse into the potting shed. And then the seedlings can go straight into the second bit. Um, and I don't have to keep moving soil and everything left, right and centre. So yes, so great weather for doing lugging and moving. I did do one little urgent job before and I must fold all my, sorry, getting distracted. I must fold all my black tarpaulin and white coverings and fleeces and what have you. I'll just show you the other job that I did quickly when I got down here. It only took me half an hour. Needed doing though. So I don't know if you see on any previous videos, this path was laid and similar to this over here with lots of grass clumps, massive ones like that. This was full of them. All I did was chuck mulch down, there was no lining. But now it looks much better and I've brought the path up from the side here so the tulips are not swamped by the mulch. So yes, tidied a path, made it so much neater. So, so, so much neater. Smarters look like they've done all right their first couple of nights out. All right, two and a half hours. Most of the junk is down the other shed, all sorted. Much better set up. These, I did want to go under there, but they won't fit. So these are just the bags of soil for now. And yes, eventually, all our kitchen stuff will be in this side to keep it separate from the pot inside. So I've got my little workstation here. Got these little pots up here. Pen. Much better. Not much change in there. I do need to get my cucumbers out. I've just made room. So look, I've got my greenhouse back. And my three melons. I just need to read on them. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to tie those up. And then I want my cucumbers along here eventually, I think. And that's it. My day's work. Happy Saturday. Just pausing a little. I think there's a bit of a domestic going on in one of the houses over there. A lot of banging and slamming and screaming and shouting and swearing. Not quite the peaceful start I um, thought we were going to have. There we go. Right. Busy day today. A quick tidy up at home in the home garden. Half eleven now. Trisha's preparing um, things for a barbecue we're having later at the plot with the um, plot manager and a, another plot holder. Nothing special, just a few sausage on one of those little disposables. Um, so yeah, I've come down here early to get done what I need to do. I'm going to make a weekend of it. Get things sown, get things planted. Enjoy the space. Hanging basket time. Got to get my hanging baskets sorted. I've got all my flowers out here. Climatising. Um, that's where we're going to have the barbecue. So I'm just going to have a general tidy up around here. Do something with all those pallets there. And just tidy this area. So yep, no time like the present. So let's get cracking. In what I've just done. <laughs> Wait till the wind dies down. 
I'll put my gloves on. So I'm going to start moving some palettes and then I thought I'll just do a quick video. The gloves didn't, they're not um, phone friendly. So I've literally just got to the video app by using my nose. Luckily there's nobody around watching. Literally pressing buttons with my nose. Crazy. Right, the video was site managers in the know. Always good to be in the know. Chat to people on the plot. That's going to be a great bit of advice. Always chat to people with your ideas, what you're after. Somebody will know somebody. And we have just picked up two rolls of felt. There's a guy right down on the bottom of this allotment. He's building a mansion down there of a shed. He's got a huge polytunnel, huge shed. I don't think he's got any space for growing things outside. So he has kindly donated that to us. He's uh, overestimated how much he needed. But now I'm in awe of what he's, he's created down there. If I get time, I'll, I'll go down and show you. But now we're gonna have new felt for the roof. And Trisha's, Trisha's chopped a bit. So right, back to my original plan of clearing that area out. Right, as I, I just had a look. Trisha's just brushed all this down, tidied it up, unfortunately. Taking off some of these. The window's smashed. There we go. Quarter to nine. I've been here for 12 hours. Trisha's trying to talk to me. We had a great time at the barbecue. Our plot manager and the other lady loved the barbecue and we had a great catch up. Good to get to know people. And now we're heading home with all the bits until tomorrow. Bye. Happy Sunday. Probably been down here a couple of hours. Let the lay in this morning. Long day yesterday down here. Everything's doing great. Little jobs I've done this morning. The neighbours' weeds. Are down there. Impeding my compost <laughs> and overtaking this area. So I've just some boards we rescued from a, a shed down at the bottom of the allotment. I've just placed at the back just gives us a bit more partition uh, I've taken the plastic cover off this compost tape once my squashes um, are a little bit bigger they have come through I'm going to pot them up today I think um, and then I think I'm going to stick two in there um, and could just carry on Fill in that compost heap there. A bit more overcast today, but it's lovely. You need it. Right. Jobs today. Didn't think I had any cucumbers. I've just found a load. Forget what I've got. Um, I think one of the melons was called something cuca. And so just on first glance, I'm, I was thinking it was a... A cucumber, so I've got to Google that and make sure it is a cucumber and not a melon. That's an Itachi, so that's definitely a cucumber. That's a mini munch, which I totally forgot I had. That was the only one that germinated out of a whole packet. Um, that says walking stick kale, which it's definitely not. And then it's crossed out courgette. So no, that's definitely a chilli or a pepper. And I've got to my pile, they're getting a little bit bigger. This one's not looking so great. This is the one that I thought might be a melon. Cucumis chentes. I'm going to have to Google that. But my other melons are looking good. The two Minnesota midgets and the tiger melon.
mini munch definitely a cucumber i found a market more that's definitely a big cucumber crunchy con little cucumbers itachi i'm just gonna google that one as well this i uncovered yesterday it's gonna be a, a squash bed um those are my flowers to go in the hanging baskets and into plant and i did put some out yesterday i think they're the echinacea that i've been out forever in a day and there's calendula filling little bits in i even stick some more of my calendula up there some multi-purpose compost which i've mixed with some vermiculite and perlite a little bit of feed a little bit of worm castings and i'm gonna get six i might put five cucumbers in here and do the other melon that i found and i'm thinking i'm just going to dig and sink these buckets and just put a pole up them and work out the tre trellis thing later yes we'll see nice pack green house need a bigger one hello well we've had another day down the left pear plot trish has been painting there's the shed. Oh, that thing is just looking beautiful. Believe it or not. She's very impressed with her own work. I'm very impressed. <laughs> very. <laughs> what have I been doing? Putting on the Swedes, doing a hanging basket, putting in my cucumbers, and the greenhouse, planting some flowers out. Having our second barbecue? Second barbecue in two days, but we had... Are you camera shy? No. You want to be in the shot? Yeah. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Got that talk. <laughs> My mouth is full. Have you seen this? <clears throat> I managed to leave one because <laughs> I don't know what I'm like. I like to pull things up and see. Um, the first bunch, obviously, there's too many together. And they're all pretty small, but again, great hole in a casserole. I don't think anything's had too much of a nibble. But look at that one. That's a bloody show turn if you've ever have seen one. Again, decent size. Just... um. Not round and snowball. Still haven't cut that. That was to protect all my onions now, as I'm gonna do from the allium bugger miner. As soon as you get the camera out, the wind picks up. All right, I think it's nearly eight o'clock. Eight hours today. A few little jobs done. Lunch, barbecue dinner. Very productive. And now we're heading home for the electric blanket because <laughs> the temperature drops. Um, hopefully my tomatoes will be okay. Happy bank holiday Monday. I'm coming down here to sow seeds. And I saw the beds needed a bit of a weed. I started weeding digging the soil over and then I got onto this one here and what I've ended up digging out from under the path that was down on this plot now I won't knock this stuff because I've used it the weed membrane and it's the ones that's made of like cassette tape <laughs> but this has obviously been down for a while and I think for a while I'll be picking horrendous bits out like this which I've just done again as soon as you look down you see it all but like I say I'm not going to knock it because I used it initially to put down but only as a temporary just a weed suppressant and then lift it but obviously some people have gone about it left it down years and years and years 
And as you may or may not know, it breaks down. I don't know how many years it takes to break down, but it does. And it's the most awful stuff to get up because you are literally picking tiny bits that's degraded over time. But I feel I've done all right today. I'm gonna to stop looking because I could be here all day. Really could. Sometimes I just pick them for look because they're so small. Right, I'm gonna stop looking. Get on to sowing some seeds. As we said, our plot, well, it's not even our plot neighbor, is right at the bottom end. We've come, we came up about just before midday. And he offered to help with the roof. We got here and it was almost done. Sorry, more bits of black plastic. I think the guys put it under these slabs as well. So a few pegs in it for me. But yeah, he's putting the, the membrane on now. Looks good. Right, quick video of what I've been doing. All my squashes. Plenty of them. Just been putting them on. I've neglected them a bit as I've been going through it. Some of them are quite dry, but they are coming through, look. So I'm literally just going to put them on in a bigger pot. Um, and keep on top of the watering. This seems to be drying out. Another quick update. Got down the allotment this morning. And the guy that said he'd do it this weekend had already started the job. And it's all been... done new boards we did replace the um slats that were rotten he had some board it's not cost us a penny he wouldn't take anything it's just finish painting finishing painting oh i have lots of paint it's coming together our little beach hut 